a very good day to all. So in this uh, lecture video, we will discuss about a case study on casting process. So this particular case study deals about investment casting process. So investment casting is a uh, specialized type of casting used in uh, mass manufacturing industries. Uh, so what mass production means is that producing uh, 10,000 or more components of the same dimensions per day. For example, uh, you can take the case of uh, manufacturing staplers, uh, safety pins, nails, bolts, nuts, fasteners. So those fasteners are uh, generally made in large batches for the same dimensions uh, because they are most widely used um, components. Those type of components are produced in large quantities. So those that type of production is called as mass production. So, so for those types of specific requirements, there is a casting available which is called as investment casting. So that's what we'll be discussing in today's case study. Let's get back, get into the topic. So first we will see the process of investment casting process. What happens in the investing investment casting process? Uh, so as you can see in this image, we have multiple uh, molds in a single stretch. Uh, in the conventional casting, you will uh, get only one component as the output. But in this investment casting process, you will get multiple components in a single casting. So that's the advantage of this investment casting process. And also, here the pattern is, uh, sorry, here the uh, mold cavity is made up of wax. So we'll discuss what that is. So first process is similar to any casting process, that is dye and pattern making process. So here, the pattern is made of wax. Uh, so this pattern will be directly used in the casting process. So there will be a die. So die is nothing but it will be a, a component made of wood or uh, metal. So preferably metal. So it will be made uh, with a very hard material. Uh, like a uh, uh, high carbon steel or an alloy of uh, stainless steel. So it will be made of very, very hard material. Even titanium alloys can also be used for making dyes. Ceramic can be used for making dyes. So the main property of the dye is that it should not change its shape uh, with temperature. So a dye is made to the shape of the component required, then what you will do is you will pour wax into the dye to make a pattern. Here the pattern will be made up of wax or plastic, preferably wax. So once the wax is made, uh, what they will do is they will pre-coat the wax with slurry, investment slurry. So investment slurry is nothing but slurry means it's a mixture of solid and liquid. So here the slurry will be made of sand uh, fine grain sand uh, will be mixed with water and it will be uh, slurry. So slurry is nothing but mud, very fine mud. So the wax will be dipped in the mud uh, over a course of time. So once it is uh, dipped in the mud, it will be uh, made out to dry. So once it dries, again it will be dipped. So multiple coatings will be done. So as you can see in this fourth image, uh, multiple coatings will be done. So once the coating is done, what we'll do is we'll pour molten metal directly into the uh, slurry. So before pouring molten metal, what we'll do is we'll place the slurry in the oven uh, so that the wax inside the, so as you can remember the pattern is made up of wax and the slurry is coated over the wax. So once it is kept in the oven, uh, wax melts at a low temperature. So it will melt and 
uh, get off. So as you can see in the image five, it's placed in the oven, the wax will melt and come out. And also the investment slurry will harden and it will take the shape of glass. It will make, it will be uh, made into a glass-like structure, very smooth glass-like structure. So once the structure is obtained, inside part will be hollow and molten metal will be poured over the, poured inside the uh, hardened sand. So we'll get uh, multiple components. As you can see in the seventh image, multiple components can be obtained. In this case, this is a cup. So the entire process is described here. So this is about the investment casting process. So to give you a quick recap, investment casting process is used for making uh, multiple components in a single casting process. So this is a specialized type of casting process used for making multiple components in a single stretch. So I hope you understood the uh, case study on investment casting process. Uh, we'll see in a another lecture video. Thank you all for your patient listening.